Ugly rug. Tacos. Yeah, get, get, get. Browning beef. Snap, crackle, pop. Salt, pepper. Browning beef for tacos. Probably about five or six minutes. So we're going to drain it. And then we're going to get back to making the tacos. I'm using ground beef. You can use ground turkey. You can use steak. You can use fish. You can make any kind of tacos you want. Turn the beef off. It's straining. You don't have to strain it if you don't want to. If you want to keep the grease in there, knock yourself out. I don't care. This is just plain old iceberg lettuce. Now, what a lot of people do, what probably most people do, is they'll dice up some tomatoes, some lettuce, some sauce, and you put on your taco whatever you want. Um, I don't do it that way. Because I like the lettuce in the taco shell. Let me show you what we're going to do here. Roll up the leaves nice and tight. And we're going to do what's called a chiffonade. Big fancy cooking term. That's a chiffonade of lettuce. That goes into our taco shells, which no, I did not make, I bought. Now again, most people probably put this on the side and they do it, on, let them put it on top of whoever wants to. I put it in the bottom. In case you're wondering, these taco trays, I actually found them out in the, uh, out in the, the Tanger Outlets in Riverhead. And I bought all that they had. If you don't have them, it's not a big deal. You put them in a, in a microwavable dish and microwave them. No biggie. Alright. So now we have our cheese. Cheddar and mozzarella is what I am using tonight. Goes in the bottom. Again. Most people probably don't do this. They leave it on the side and you put on whatever you want. Don't use it all, guys. We gotta put more on top. Yeah, it, cheese goes on the top and the bottom. Yes. Yeah, and we're missing one. One of our one of our shells cracked. So we're missing a shell. Missing a shell? No, missing a shell. <laughs> all right, there's our shells, our lettuce, our beef is draining. Let's get back to the beef. Here is our beef drained. Again, you don't want to drain it, don't drain it. This is a can of chilies. Drained. Water. Taco seasoning. Now I just do it this way because it, it's easier. It gets all nice and dissolved. That goes there. That was about a cup of water with the with the, the taco um, kit is what I buy. It's got the seasoning in it. It's got the shells. Now, if you want more seasoning, you can buy extra seasoning because I may put more on this. Actually, I'm gonna put more on it. Who's a more on it? All right, we threw a little bit more seasoning on there. A little dry, add a little bit more water to it. Which I think is what we're going to do. Turn that a little bit. This will actually thicken up, believe it or not. Going to let this cook down about 10 minutes or so. And it will thicken up. All right, in the meantime, we're going to put our shells in the oven for about four or five minutes. Again, if you don't want to put them in the oven, you can do them in the microwave for about 45 seconds or a minute. 
But we're going to put them in there, and the cheese is going to melt. And then we're going to put the taco meat into there, and some more cheese on top, and back in, and let it melt, and it's all good. See you in a bit. In the oven, aluminum foil. Just gently push it down into the cracks. Get the idea? And then your, your, your shells will fit right in there. You can, that's another way you can do it. All right, so now we got that. We're gonna add some salsa to this. Now I'm gonna add a whole jar. This happens to be hot. You don't need hot. You can use a regular, mild, whatever you want to use. And let that cook down. Right. Okay. All right, guys. That's probably about three minutes or so. I pulled them out a little earlier because we're gonna dig them back in again anyway. But you can see the cheese is melting onto the lettuce. I again, I'll say it. Most people don't really do it this way. They put it all on the side with diced tomatoes, sour cream, guacamole, whatever. But I don't. This is the way I do it. Okay. So here's our meat mixture with the chilies and now we're gonna fill these a couple of scoops on each okay so there's all our meat in our shells and like I said more cheese on top If I were hosting a taco party, I'd leave all the cheese and everything out and let people make their own. But... Alright guys, here's our tacos. Now sometimes what I'll do with this is I'll make uh, a box of Spanish rice and any cheese that is left over or any meat mixture that's left over, I'll throw into that with some salsa. Good stuff. Cheese on top, like I said, um... Most people leave everything on the side. You may, you build your own, but I didn't do that. Doesn't somebody out there make taco shells that are flat on the bottom? I believe they do that. They'll stand up by themselves. Yeah, it's it's taco flat on the bottom and then back up again. So it's just that it doesn't have the curve. It's flat. I I don't I don't know who it is, but I think somebody does. You could use those in a cas if in a casserole dish. They'll stand up. It'll be perfect for you. All right, guys. Again. Uh, tacos. Thank you for joining us. I uh, hope to see you again. Please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again. Ciao now.